Hello, my friends. It has been long enough. I know I just recently did a video. But I've been wanting to, uh, talk to you a little bit. I've been, uh, getting some attention of different mods. And, you know what? I'll show you some mods I have done over the years. What's this, you ask? The long shot, CS6. This is an obvious, simple, lazy mod. Take the uh, thing out. I clipped out some of the uh, thing. Some of the grip. Spit it on. Taped it in. Now it looks like now it looks like that. It's got it's a mag I got from Ryan Engelstead. Great guy. Check his channel out. I reached in. I just recently, in fact, did a mod guide. There. Whoa. This thing is so amazingly powerful. Woo! The Busby Ultimate Missile Blast. I did a mod guide on this today. Which the video is up. Check it out. All of these blasters I'm showing you have mod guides. Some of them, anyway. Today, later today, I'm going to do a mod guide on the hammer shot. I did a mod guide on this, but I took it apart again. So, that's the shell, unfortunately. It's going to get used for something else in the far future. I have a mod guide on this. I'll shout. Fart a deck in the face. I have a mod guide plan for this. In the future. And when my guy comes out for this, I'll record it as soon as possible. All of these blasters, and many more, you may be wondering, why do I mod these things? Why don't I keep them stock? Uh, well, I don't keep them stock for one reason. I like modded blasters. Modifying your blaster is the f most fun thing you can do. And sometimes modding your blasters can be as easy as changing the bulb on a light on a lamp. Or as difficult as fixing a car. The fun mods are the best mods. As I have proved with the mod guide on this. As you may know, this thing will now shoot an elite dart. Or any dart. And it'll shoot it really, really hard. Oh, and a little heads up. This is not going back on. This is staying off. See? Pretty strong. So. This will be used.
Now, the one thing people neglect to mention in a lot of their mods, except Captain Xavier, he's the only one that mentions this. You need plunger padding. I got plenty of it from killing some blasters. I killed many a blaster for this. And got this much plunger padding. I have ones from Busby and ones from Nerf. The Busby padding is a lot better than Nerf padding. Keep plunger padding at all use nearby at all costs. You know you're gonna need it. Keep spare parts lying around. You know you're gonna need them. Spare catches, plunger padding. Hell, prime vaults. Pieces of a plunger that you're gonna use for a project. And of course your blasters. Like this. Now, remember, the reason I mod, if there are re the reason is, anyway, or rather, my reason. It may not be yours, but it's mine. Nerf is the best hobby out there. It's expensive, yes, but fun even more. Take the Rival Atlas, for example. Loud, mother fricker. But! It's got the spring the same size as the K26. So if you strip this thing for parts and steal its spring, you're gonna have some fun. And, you'll need somewhere to work on these mods. I'm in my old game room. There's still PC games lying around. <sighs> I turned it into a workshop. I have stress ball nearby. In case I get a little too stressed out, need some help. I also have shells lying around, all kinds of stuff. What reason, you ask? Well, I'm glad you asked. My reason being, you can never have too many of one thing. You can never have too many of one blaster. You can never have too many of darts. This, for example, darts, this is the darts I have. Vortex discs. Darts. Too many, you ask? Nope. Never have too many. Never. Ever. Never fucking ever. Excuse my French. Never. You can never have too much of one thing. Never to have too many darts. Hell. I have darts still in the package. I bought, my father bought me 400 darts. Some of them are in this bucket. I've got 300 darts still in the package. Ready to use. So, this all runs out. I got more. I even have some darts that Ryan gave me. I even still have all the darts Ryan gave me. 
So, why do you mod, you ask? What's the reason with modding? Why mod when it's against Hasbro's rules? Because frick rules. You mod because you want to. You mod because it's unnecessary sometimes at some point. I have singled air powered blasters such as this. Uh. I have to twist that in. I have singled air powered blasters. I have so much crap in this room, it's not even funny anymore. Uh, not funny! The most recent thing I did for you guys was the mod guide on this. What did you do different, you ask? Mm, clear shot through. Heavy spring. And much, much stronger. Why mod, you ask? I already explained it. Mod at your own risk, though. Um, let's see. I got some failed projects lying around, yes. I have some failed blasters. Some blasters I killed for their spring. Help. I killed so many fuzzy blasters, I have a bunch of these. I killed a bunch of, uh, all kinds of blasters. Well, I killed blasters, you ass. Because F Busby blasters. They're terrible. No, they're not. Busby blasters are awesome. Example. This baby. I got this from my girlfriend for my birthday a long time ago now. Go to dart in. Close the vault. Pull the trigger. And it hits hard. I'm going to do a review on this tomorrow, either later today or tomorrow. So, if you are curious why the mod, why the nerf, now you know. Nerfing is fun. It's easy to do. And all you need to mod, basically, is a screwdriver. And maybe... pliers. You don't need all fancy tools, stuff like that. All you really need is a screwdriver. Yes, you need screwdrivers. I have plenty of those. I got plenty of screwdrivers. This desk is where all the magic happens. It's where the magic 
of this. I gave it this enormous power. You try that with a regular blaster, with a Nerf blaster, and tell me how that works. I have so much stuff in here, it's not funny. Oh, and you can never have too many of these. Modding, you're creating a blaster. Grab one of these. I stole the one for this off of a uh, broken modulus. That modulus has since been turned into uh, spare parts. All you really need to do this mod is... Wow, that's so simple. So simple. And this was so simple to single. This was also very simple. Take a sight in the barrel. What I did was I melted the glue off, but that's different. I'll walk through that later. I snapped out everything and coated it in duct tape to hold it in. Then I did that. Now, sorry, I still have to throw this piece out. Hmm, why, you wonder? Why did you ruin the Titan barrel? Titans are beautiful lads. They can they have such good mod potential. You could turn them into monsters. Singling these things is dangerous, close. Close to dangerous. Whoops. Singling a Titan barrel is the most dangerous thing you can do right now. But, so fun. So many stuff. So many blasters. So much nerf.
Why do you mod? Why do you mod? Well, modding is so simple, so easy. It's awesome. You can mod whatever the flip you want. All it takes is a screwdriver and a spring. Do some stuff to it. A screwdriver and spring will do you wonders. This is a pile of just a small bit of the spare parts I have lying around. In this little area I'm in. So, this has gone on long enough. I'm Robert Blake. Thank you guys for joining me. I want you guys to understand that this isn't a sayonara or anything like that. I'm going to do more videos. I plan that this is my next first and only video explaining why I nerf. Why I nerf? Because I can. It's fun. And we're all. It's cheap. Very cheap, actually. Because this was ten dollars. This is about seven or eight dollars, depending on what store you get these from. You can do a lot to them. These are amazing blasters. And, you gotta be mindful of spare parts, stuff like that. Well, on the other hand, ouch. You can mod to your life's content. This is Robert Blake. This is a bit of a, uh, why I mod, why I nerf. The subscribe button there. The dislike button's there too. The like button's there. Do whatever you want. I am Robert Blake. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.